in the previous video what we looked at was the convergence criteria uh, of a subsequence okay so we said that if a n tends to a then all subsequences a and k will also tend to a okay now if you if we take this criteria then from here we can look get a divergence criteria which would be basically this is a statement p implies q so we know the contrapositive is not q implies not p and these two are equivalent okay these two are equivalent so what does that mean? That means that a, if a and k does not converge to a, this implies that a n does not converge to a. Essentially, we can put it into words like that. If a sequence a n has two subsequences, okay, has two subsequences which tend to different limits. So, we have one subsequence tending towards L, another subsequence tending towards L dash, then that would imply that A n is divergent. It does not converge, does not converge at all. Okay. So we will look into, let me give you an example of this kind of a sequence. So let's have a sequence a n, okay, n greater than or equal to 1. a n has a general term which is minus 1 to the power n, 1 plus 1 by n, okay. Now, we can have two sequences, subsequences here. Let's have even and odd, okay, even and odd. So, we have a subsequence a to k where k is greater than or equal to 1. What will be the terms of this sequence? You will have a2. a2 is equal to 1 plus 1 by 2. You will have uh, a4 which will equal to 1 plus 1 by 4. a6 will equal to 1 plus 1 by 6. So, basically even numbers terms of the sequence and you can have an odd number terms sequence so that will be 2k plus 1 where k is greater than or equal to 1 so that would be that will give you a3 which will equal to minus of 1 plus 1 by 3 similarly you have a5 which will equal to minus of 1 plus 1 by 5 and so on and so forth. So, these terms will be like this, right? Now, what do you think a 2k is converging to? So, this is 0, this is 1, this is minus 1, okay? So, now 2k has terms like uh, 1 plus half, so that's 3 by 2. So, term, this is your a 2 then you have uh, 5 by 4, so you have uh, your term A3 somewhere here, then A4 somewhere here. Basically, your terms like 1 plus 1 by n as n tends to infinity will tend to 1 because 1 by n will be 0, right? Similarly, your terms uh, which are basically minus of well you know minus of 4 by 3 so somewhere here a a3 then your a5 will be somewhere here a7 will be somewhere here moving towards minus 1 actually okay so basically you have terms minus 1 by n as n tends to infinity this will be 0 so this will tend to minus 1. So what do you have? You have a sequence in whole where even number terms are moving towards 1 and odd number terms are moving towards minus 1. So in this scenario, in this scenario, so what you have? You have a2k tends towards 1, a2k plus 1 
tends towards minus 1 and therefore the sequence a n is divergent. The sequence a n is actually divergent because the subsequences inside this sequence are moving towards different direction are moving towards different limits so there cannot be a unique limit so that's one of the divergence criteria